three, two, one. Welcome back to the Wheatley. It's amazing who you find on down at the Feddy's Oval, and we've got Emma O'Driscoll. Welcome, Emma. Um, thanks for having me. Hey, um, we well, no, Nepal. Nepal. You're a famous Nepal, Nepal family yeah, down here. Yeah. Nepal family down here. Um, junior ne Nepal. Who was? It's a big Nepal. Have a Nepal Association. Yeah, it is. Northern Nepal is um, quite big. So I used to play for Renegades down here. Were they any good? Uh, yeah, got to the grand final a few times. One a few. Who were your coaches? Um, I had my mum as my coach. Oh, and well, she could play the game a bit, couldn't she? Oh, she's next level. She um, always used to pick on me. You know, you always pick on your own kids. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Adele Simmons, she's just synonymous with netball. Oh. In, um, and did you ever, ever play with the Flames? Yeah, I did. So I played under-18s with the Flames and Adele was my coach, which has um, made it really cool. Second generation, having yep. coached my mum and then me. Um, so yeah, Adele, Adele is very inspirational and I think, I'd like to think I have some of her netball knowledge. Yeah, I think everyone who's played foot, uh, netball has got some, some, of, of some, of, some of Adele Simmons. She's uh, just an ornament to the game. And uh, obviously the Phillies, um, they have a netball league. Mm -hmm. And I reckon you might have uh, been out there a couple of times. Yeah, I think I definitely have debuted for the Phillies a few times. And um, is, was this a mother-daughter situation? No, I don't actually think mum has. She might have back in the day, but I don't think we have played together for fillies. We have for local netball, but um, but yes, I have had a had a few filling gigs today. I rocked up and the girls asked if I'd chuck on a shirt. Yeah, it was, yeah today. Who the hell's that? No hiding anymore, Em. Definite no, definite <laughs> no. Hey, um, so we'll go back to the footy. Um, obviously, it's not that long ago, but... Um, who, who did you follow in junior footy? You was probably following your brothers around, were you? Yeah, so I just came down to local games here, Saints versus Barons, obviously, in town. But then, yeah, just followed Nathan and Aiden growing up and my my family are massive Eagles supporters. Yeah, well, that's uh, difficult, isn't it? <laughs> hey, um, so back to footy, it's, it's changed a lot and it's fantastic because I heard you do play football now, do you? Yeah, just like a little bit. Just yeah, a just small a little bit. Casually. A couple of years of the best... Uh, 22 under 22 yeah, in there. Yeah, only, only a few, only a few. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, and we are all riding on your success in there. What's your football story? How did you get involved? Oh, well, again, played netball my whole life, and I went down, played for Northern Senior High School at Country Week, um, and thought I'd just give AFL a go because it was, you know, Country Week's fun with your friends, and um, ended up getting scouted to trial for the under 18s. Had no idea what I was doing, still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, got a gig there, and I ended up getting drafted to Fremantle. Yeah. It's, it's a sensational story, and um, it's, what is it about football? Is it the physicality of it? I, I don't know. I just said today, I actually think it's the football culture. The culture around football clubs, the environment that you're in, everyone gets around each other. Like, coming down here today, it's no different in our women's program. I think having that, yeah, that culture, um, like I said, everyone kind of treats each other, like each, other, each other like family. So, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, you mentioned your brother. Did you actually teach him how to kick? There we get a touch. Just, <laughs> just to prove that you're a football, just kick it back out over there. <laughs> I'm a backman. Backman. No. <laughs> um, did you actually teach him how to kick from the boundary? Because he's getting pretty famous from it. I know. I, I don't know where that's come from. I reckon he's the worst kick in the oven, but ended up getting out there and um, being able to score Drizzy's pocket. That, that left foot, I just don't know how he does it, but I certainly didn't teach him how to kick. I think we, we aren't a kicking family, I would say, but he's gotten better, um, so hopefully I can improve. There's hope for me. Uh, where, what, what do we do for the rest of the year now? Um, do you play football um, in the off-season? Oh, well, in the real football season? In the real football season? No. Um, so we actually start again in August this year, so the AFL are currently in the negotiations to when we actually do start but um, I'm just running at the moment hopefully we'll actually come down to some Fetty's boys trainings and join in if I can and um, yeah get my skills back up ready to go. Pretty exciting game by the Fetty's boys today. Yeah oh my gosh and they came right back Keller so um, we you know had heart palpitations on the bench here I'm glad they could lock away the win. Thanks for joining us on the Wheatley. No worries thanks for having me. Perfect. Here we go!